just north of Dallas. A championship will be awarded here this afternoon. And these two teams and fan bases are so excited to be here. The eighth seed in the FCS playoff bracket, the Montana State Bobcats up against the powerhouse. The Bison, the number two seed from North Dakota State. On the field, Dave. North Dakota State won the toss. The kicker slipped on the kickoff and the ball's gonna roll out of bounds. It's a little bit of an issue on this wet natural grass surface. Malat spins through the first tackle and gets the Montana State first down. Passing numbers have been good. He's protected the ball. The rushing numbers have been spectacular. He'll throw it here and completes it to McCutcheon again along the sideline for a positive first down game. Well, that's not good. He, he's he's oh. limping a little bit. And he's pointing to that calf. I don't know what happened on that play. I mean, we know he's not afraid to go in there and mix it up. Picking up the yard is it towards the end of it. Oh, it's his ankle. Healthy is such a weapon. McCutcheon leaves the backfield. Malat throws over the top and it is incomplete. Good coverage there. It's fourth down. Yeah, and you have to think if he's not limping, they run the football with a little RPO option there. But with him not having the ability to run, you can tell he's really favoring that right ankle, trying to protect it. Tough break for Montana State in the middle of their opening drive. With Blake Lester, and they're faking it. Lester is going to punt it, so it was a fake field goal and a punt that goes for a touchback. That did not work the way Montana State wanted it to for midway through the year, as you're talking about. So it's. It's been a year of breakout for Miller, and now good defense from Montana State. We're just a few minutes into this game. Miller throws, and it is caught. A leaping catch along the sideline two years ago when these two teams met. Miller slips as he tries to scramble. He's going to get the first down and more. The straight-ahead quarterback run into Montana State territory. Patterson will... Fake it to Williams and Patterson like. with all kinds of room down the left side. There goes Patterson inside the 10 and finally pushed out of bounds at about the eight. It'll be first and goal. The Bison are three for three on third down already on their first drive. A little pitch play, broken tackle, touchdown. Hunter Lipke just knocking Bobcats down. The player was down for North Dakota State. Did get up and walk off the field. Play fake. Grovig throws and a nice catch. Upended Nate Stewart. Hung on to the football for a first down conversion. Lane Sumner alongside of the backfield. Rovig now designed quarterback run for him. And look at Rovig go. First down and much more to the sideline and ducking out of bounds. FCS or one double A. Very proud history. Play fake on third down and the ball is batted down. Knocked away. And that's Hankey again, who's the do-everything middle linebacker. He makes a tackle on second down. On third down, he knocks the ball down. Former walk-on that's always proven himself. Overachiever. Good job of reading the quarterback's eyes. Lester, the footing has been a bit of an issue. That kick is on the way, and it is no good. He missed it wide to the right. Feel their muscle a little bit and try and gain control of this football game. Miller in the pocket on second down, throws wide open. Christian Watson gets tackled in midfield. Difference maker that could absolutely burn. Here's Lipke, and he's got a huge hole. Lipke, first down and more of quarter number one. Lipke in the backfield, takes a handoff. And he is just carrying defenders with him. He gets the first down. At first or second down and short. Lipke untouched his second touchdown. Very impressive in their playoff victory. Second down and long. And a run straight ahead and squirting through. Kobe Johnson. There he goes. Johnson with Watson leading the way. Touchdown 76 yards. Wow. And they failed. I mean, this right here, they have an opportunity to bottle them up. They lose track of where the ball carry is. Callahan O'Reilly could not spot Johnson, and Kobe Johnson does the rest. To be that team that did not 
win the championship. Rovig across the middle and it's intercepted. Dawson Weber's having a big game and that's a Bobcats turnover. It's all Bison right now. This looks like it gets away from him here. Fakes the pitch and supposed to did and just misfires. Great job by Dawson Weber. Reading the keys and things just not going well for Montana State. For NDSU in this first half. They give it to Lipke. Lipke will go down this time. That was a good tackle. Down 21 0. It's third and 10. Pressure comes. Rovig throws and it's incomplete. Patterson instead straight ahead. Power football still going and he's going to get the first down. <laughs> Man, so hard to bring down. Miller steps up. He's going to throw and he's got his man complete for another conversion on third down. Patterson in a quarterback. He'll fake it with Lipke leading the way as a blocker. Man, he can do it all. Here comes Lipke. Patterson with more blocks. There goes Patterson. Quincy Patterson inside the 30. Quarterback. A defensive player of the year linebacker in his Montana State career straight ahead run for the quarterback Cam Miller to Miller the quarterback leaves the backfield they direct snap it to Lipke Lipke touchdown his third of this championship game. I believe they do they've been doing it for a decade for several decades. Handoff. That's Kobe Johnson had the long touchdown run. He breaks a tackle of Troy Anderson. Man, he's good too. Lipke and Patterson and Miller and Williams. But don't forget about Kobe Johnson. Yards. <laughs> Look at that average. He's saying, "Give me the ball a little more." Got now him. a misdirection play, wide open. Babbage, the tight end. Touchdown. You have to think this whole Montana State team is just stunned. The way the game started, they looked ready to play. First play from scrimmage was a nice game. They were moving down the field. And their sensational young quarterback got hurt, and the whole game changed on one play. About the question she asked Coach Matt Entz. Now, what do you do to keep your team motivated? There's that, that sort of fake run pass play that we saw early. Derek Snell, the tight end, with the catch and run. If Anze didn't get the handoff, they throw it up. McCutcheon fights for the ball and comes down with it. <laughs> and McCutcheon, who didn't make those big catches in the first half, comes up big here. They've got Troy Anderson in at quarterback under center, and that was just beautifully defended. I have a feeling the message at the end of that play from the Bison side was, hey, have you seen the scoreboard lately? Rovig play fake, jump ball incomplete. Man, his guy was there. McCutcheon was there. Yeah, he boxed him up well, had him squared up to elevate and make that catch. On the board in a championship game. That field goal is up and good from 26 yards away. Avance now comes alongside Rovig, the quarterback, who's going to throw on fourth and short, and he's going downfield. It's incomplete. Well, last time they had it, that's what they did on fourth and short. This time it doesn't work behind this Montana State team. Hand off, and that is to Merrick Williams, one of the hometown kids. Not a ton of players for the state of Texas. They play nine-man football. Have you heard of nine man football? Yeah, some some kids in Montana play six man football. The dynasty going. Third and seven play fake. Miller's going to throw. End zone incomplete. Well, Babbage was there. He already has one touchdown catch today. Young man, make this catch. Ooh, that's, that's, a out, that's a tough one. That is a tough one there. But. Special teams, your shoulder pads <laughs> sticking out. Go block for the kicker who boots it right on through from 37 yards out. Rovig was pressured incomplete into traffic trying to get the tight end Snell and the pressure got to him Eli Mostart Braden Thomas both were there nine and oh and when you think of modern sports dynasties you know obviously you put North Dakota State there but let's think about the NBA what was the last dynasty we saw Chicago Bulls 
And the key thing about that was Michael Jordan was 6-0 in championships. Something that we see a lot in college football. I'm not a big fan of it. We'll see if they can pull it off. And Fonse gets the first down and plenty more, almost to midfield. It's the second fourth down conversion of the game for the Bobcats. Pass yards, the rush yards, 11 touchdowns in three weeks. Leads them to the championship game as the eighth seed. And Fonse bounces it right. And breaking tackles along the sideline for another Bobcats first down. Play fake over the top. McCutcheon jump ball touchdown. Great football play here. When you're six foot three and the defensive back that's covering you is. This is going to be the final snap of this national championship game. Incredible. They've done it again. FCS championship number nine for North Dakota State. And they are headed up into the concourse before the final seconds tick off with the band to the stage to celebrate another national title in Fargo. Incredible. They've done it so many times. They know where the trophy presentation is. As soon as the game ended, they ran to get in front of the band and say, come on, this is part of North Dakota State football. We end the season on the concourse with our T-shirts and caps. Give us our trophy. Home away from home. Nobody knows this place like these guys do. 